Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the color code for two commonly used resistors. We have the 220 ohm resistor and the 470 ohm resistor in both beige and blue. Because both beige and blue resistors are common these days. I'll talk about the difference in a little bit. But uh, resistors, in this case, these came in a package. That stands for 220 ohms and uh, there's 10 of them in here that's what that X10 is a lot of resistors if uh, whether or not the package the uh, baggie is labeled usually you have uh, the value written on these paper strips here so that's really common too and so as long as you make sure they get back in the same bag you should be able to identify the uh, value without knowing the color code also you can use the multimeter I've done videos on that I don't have time to cover that in this video but in any case that's also an option but in this video we're gonna focus on the color code of these two commonly used resistors so now moving down here I have the color code there and a couple example resistors here they don't they don't indicate a value these are just meant to be blank spots not uh, white spots for night but in any case as you can see here you put uh, the one stripe that's a little farther away from the other stripes on one end to the right when you're reading it and then you come to the left here also this stripe with beige is uh, normally gold and then with the blue zister it's normally brown so this one might also be brown so both ends might be brown but with the beige one it's really easy the gold side goes to the right whereas the blue one if it's brown on both sides you're gonna have to go by uh, distance the one that's farther away is the tolerance and uh, what that means is that the value that we come up with over here the resistors aren't perfect when they come out of the factory they may be slightly higher they may be slightly lower so with the beige ones gold means you can expect it to maybe be five percent higher or lower than its rated value with the brown it's uh, one percent these uh, blue ones are normally brown so it could be 1% higher or lower. So the blue ones are a lot more accurate than the beige ones. But anyways, moving on to the value. So the first digit is the stripe on the left, and then the second digit is the one right next to it. Now, the uh, blue resistors have one more stripe than the beige ones. So the beige one, we get the first two digits, and then the blue one, we get the first three digits. And then the last stripe over here before the tolerance is the multiplier and to make it simple that's just the number of zeros that you add after the first two digits and so these uh, beige resistors which I mostly use because I got them out of this kit which has them in the baggie in each uh, value in its own little baggie and it's easy to find them and keep them organized but you may be using either beige or blue so if you're using 220 ohms with beige the color code is red red and then brown so that's two two and then brown is the number of zeros brown equals one so that's one zero as you can see there we got one zero written there now the uh, blue resistors they're a little more uh, difficult so they're brown they can be one percent higher or lower than the rated value in this case 220 ohms but in any case it's two two and then now we have a third digit so that third digit is zero so now we have our value and so we got one more stripe this stripe it's black that means zero so there's zero zeros there's no more zeros we just end at 220 and so now we're gonna move to the 470 ohm resistor 470 ohms is common in 9 volt circuits you don't want to use a lower value and as I said earlier, 220 ohms is common in 5 volt circuits. With 5 volts, you don't really want to use a lower value resistor either, uh, for the most part. But uh, in any case, I have an actual picture of the resistor here, but as you can see, the colors don't show up. The camera doesn't pick it up too well, and then uh, printing it out everything, it loses its color. It doesn't stand out as well. It's a lot easier to see these in person. But in any case, with 470 ohms, you got yellow for four and then violet for seven and then now brown is the number of ones again it's one one or uh, the number of zeros I mean again it's one zero 
and so we got 470, 470 ohms. Remember, resistance is ohms. When you talk about resistance, make sure you say ohms after the value. And then uh, for the blue one, again, now we got four stripes for uh, the number. Remember, this one's tolerance, but uh, the number is only three digits long. So again, we got the first digit four, the second digit is a uh, violet for seven, and then we got black for zero. So now we got that fourth stripe, and uh, we got to read that. Again, that's zero, but that's the number of zeros. There's zero zeros. Or you could do uh, times one if you want to look at it that way. But I like to just do zeros. Zero zeros. So we got four, seven, zero, and then no more for 470 ohms. And as a bonus, I got this picture of a, another resistor, which I was using in the project at the time I took these two pictures. But uh, in any case, this has a much higher value. So we got green for five, brown for one, black for zero, and then red here for the multiplier, red is two, so two zeros. So five one zero zero zero, that's fifty one thousand. This is a fifty one kilo ohm, fifty one thousand ohm resistor. So now primarily uh, the reason why I put together this diagram. I've used a lot of 220 ohm and 470 ohm resistors in my videos and it takes a while before you get used to using the color code wanting to learn it and stuff generally you start off wanting to use a multimeter or just read what's uh, labeled on there but if you start with these two values which I use a lot in my videos then it's going to be easy to just build on that as you start using particular values of resistors it'll come really easy to pick up their color code and uh, at some point you'll just be able to read any resistors color 